Gram staining is a technique, used to differentiate, two major groups of bacteria based on their cell wall composition called, Gram-positive, and Gram-negative bacteria. The technique was named after Hans Christian Gram, who developed this method, in 1884. Gram staining is a preliminary test, in the bacterial identification process. It plays an important role, in clinical microbiology. It helps the medical professionals, in the diagnosis of infectious diseases, directly from the clinical sample. As the cell wall of gram-positive bacteria, is completely different from the gram-negative bacteria, it is important for them, to understand the gram nature, to provide the appropriate treatment, for the infection. The widely accepted theory, is based on the differences in the cell wall composition, between the gram-positive, and gram-negative bacteria. To understand the cell wall composition better, please do watch my video, on the structure of cell wall, by following the link in the description. When crystal violet, and, iodine are added to the smear, both will penetrate, through the cell wall, and, form a large crystal violet, iodine complex within the inner and outer layers of gram-positive, and gram-negative bacteria. The cell wall of gram-negative bacteria is thin, and made of one, or, two layers of peptidoglycan. In addition to this, it has got an outer lipopolysaccharide layer, surrounding the cell wall. When a decolorizer, like alcohol, or, acetone is added, the outer lipopolysaccharide layer will be completely dissolved, leaving the thin peptidoglycan layer exposed. The effect of alcohol, makes the peptidoglycan layer, become perforated. So, in the decolorization step, the gram-negative bacteria fail to retain the CVI complex, and become colorless, as the complex is washed away. On contrary to this, the thick, and multi-layered peptidoglycan, 
in gram positive bacteria will be dehydrated by the addition of alcohol because of the thick peptidoglycan layer and dehydration by the alcohol treatment the CVI complex gets trapped in the cell therefore after the decolorization step the gram positive bacteria appear purple in color and the gram negative bacteria become colorless in the last step when a counter stain like safranine is added the gram negative bacteria easily absorb the stain and gives pink color to the cells and the gram positive bacteria remain purple in color due to the retention of CVI complex which is darker than safranine Although the gram staining is used as primary test, in the identification process, this method will not be able to identify the bacteria, to the species level. It will be used in combination of other modern, and, traditional identification tests. The CVI complex, may get lost from the gram positive bacteria, due to over decolorization, which might lead to misinterpretation. There were evidences, where, some old gram-positive cultures were not able to retain purple color, and therefore, observed as gram-negative. If you like the video, please hit the like button or comment and share. Please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified, on the upcoming videos.